Hi, welcome to Oracle Space ASO learning session. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you how to write MDX ASO queries. In today's session we learn the basics about writing MDX query, some of the basic keywords and concepts. In subsequent session we learn how to write complex query. So MDS queries called multidimensional expression are similar to writing SQL query. They share a common uh, structure but they are different in terms of conceptual view. SQL queries are designed to uh, build data or build view on top of relation database whereas MDS queries are designed to view data for multidimensional database. MDS query is like an industry standard as we have a different standard for SQL queries. SQL 92, 99, ANSI standard. Similarly, MDX is a global standard for all kind of OLAP uh, solutions. MDX is being used by Oracle Space. In addition to this, it is being used by Microsoft SQL Server. And various other OLAP products use MDX query in order to retrieve data from relation database. So what all, what are different components of MDX? Let's see. As I mentioned in the previous slide, MDS query and SQL query have a similar structure. You see over here, we specify select access as, com as compared to your relation database, you write column name, select access from cube name rather than table name, you specify cube name, where slicer. In relation database, we specify where clause to retrieve data and filter data. This is a sample structure given for MDS query. You see select dimension member name on column and dimension member name on rows. So rows and columns are also called access from cube name where you specify tuple and set. This is a typical structure of your writing MDS query. Let's see some basic example to understand how queries are written. So in order to easy to understand I have prepared one excel sheet over here which will demonstrate you how would you like to show your data in your multi-dimensional database. You see this is a cross tabular view of my dimension member in one of my rows I have got different province and in my column I've got major sales and different time different months January February March and quarter one so first I'll write a simple query before I start my SP server I prefer to check my SP server is running or not so I'll check my SP server services are running I use process view and I filter on top of S space. I see there are a couple of services running for S space. Uh, when I scroll up, I can see over here my S space server is running, S space administration service is running, and S space server is running. Right? I've got WebLogic server, S space server, and S space administration services all are running over here. It's running a 1423 port, which is the default port for S space. Alternatively, you can also log in to your WebLogic server and check under services, under server, whether your S space administration service up and running. In my case, I'm using uh, Oracle hyphen S space 11.1.2.3, the latest release, and my WebLogic server and foundation services, S space administration service are running over here. Once you ensure your S space server and S space administration service up and running, you would prefer to start your WebLogic server. You can start directly from your web portal browser, HTTP name of your server, one triple double zero eight zero ES console. This is a default URL. When you click on launch, it will ask you to download a JNPL file, the SBase console or JNPL. You can directly open this file under Java WS. Click OK and the file gets started. I already opened my SBase administration service in one of the window. So I'm not going to start a new one. Once you start your SPS admission service, start your new MDX file, click on new and under the script tag you can find an MDX script. Click on MDX script and create a new. The first script I'm going to build on top of my sample ASO cube which ship along with Oracle SPS is a sample cube. ASO SAMP is the name of my cube. I can easily recognize this is ASO cube by looking at the red star mark appear in between and the ASO cube can have only one database so I have a cube name called application name is sample ASO, ASO sample and cube name is sample. Right. I already loaded some sample data this data you can find under student folder under your Google Drive 
you can find all the learning material and student and sample data as well let's start writing a basic query first so it is assume you should be quite you should be completely familiar with your cube outline or the dimension member you have before writing any business MDS query so in this query I'm going to just retrieve a simple data from my majors called number of units are sold select under curly braces I specify my dimension member name units on column name from your cube name you specify cube name as ASO SAM dot application name dot database name now make a note over here very clearly unlike your relation database when you write a dimension member name you explicitly define whether the member will appear in column or a row select this and either you can press down arrow key to process it or press F5 key to process this query and you see I can see the total the total cumulative sales unit cost for units of all product all year if you do not specify any other dimension it is assume you are finding this the major is aggregated value with respect to all dimension let's extend this query and now I like to prepare my units or as in this example I like to see the units for specific month January sales or January units or February units like this so I'll use a combination of dimension member I'll say selects I like to display units as on column and this time I also retrieve uh, my different markets or different promotion in my rows so I've got promotion markets I'll be using different promotion in my rows different kind of promotions are given over here I could use a payment type so let's use a payment type uh, and the curly braces I specify my promotions or payment type any one of the dimension you can use for the sake of testing on rows from you specify cube name to shorten my I just copy my cube name from here and paste it over here so now it would be combination of rows and column I can see on rows I have promotion and column I got units select query and press F5 key to process oh my parentheses are not correctly closed so now I have a combination of rows and column you also you know if you look at the output over here it should draw your attention stating that I have a term over here called excess one what does this excess actually uh, the excess define abstraction of your how your dimension member appear in a cross tabular view so rather than using rows and column you could use excess MDS query can have 0 to 63 excess total 64 excess an SQL statement and each access behave exactly the same way you see over here access 0 says column 1 says rows 2 says page and so on alternatively specifying rows and column you could specify access over here so access and the respective alias I'm going to rewrite the same query and rather using uh, rows and column I would be using over here access so I would replace column with access 0 and rows with excess 1 and reprocess this query and see the difference well there's no difference in look and feel you get the same query output excess 1 so it means rows and columns are alias uh, of your excess so we see the two basic queries now let's go further and see more advanced example when you're writing MDS query it is important for you to understand two very important concepts called tuples and set tuple is a multi-dimensional abstraction of member as per definition and set is a collection of tuple uh, composed of order tuple and here one important thing order is meaningful and tuple can be repeated this is a simple example of set and tuple you see what is appear in parenthesis it's my this one is my tuple and the collection of my tuple is my set we'll look at the definition and I'm going to show you how to design it some important term about tuple it comprises of one member from each reference dimension one member from each reference dimension and cannot have null tuple or null members and it is put under parenthesis before you designing any you know MDS query in the beginning it's a good idea you prepare in uh, Excel which will help you to understand basically you're going to design 
I prepare one sample Excel over here and I'm going to design over here tuple. My tuple will consist of in this example as combination of under parenthesis January sales. Right? And this is my tuple, January sales. And when I write a set, it would in turn be a collection of my tuple. January sales, collection of other tuple, February sales, and the collection of this tuple become my set, which I put under parenthesis, under curly braces. So you see in this example, my tuple comes under uh, parenthesis, which is a combination of January sales, and my set is a collection of my tuple. January sales and February sales, right? We use the same exam in our uh, this sheet. So first I write tuple. So I would like to see uh, units for January, right? I put under curly braces, collection of January and sales. January and units in my example, I put units on column. or in excess and what do you want in row in? let the row be same in my row I continue to have promotions and from my cube select this and process oh sorry I forgot over here I supposed to be using under parenthesis so my this is my first tuple This is not a tuple. And you see it's a combination of January units. And units, the alias name is item per package. Right? Item per package. So this is my small tuple. I can have a combination of this tuple as my set. So I just extend the same query and rather than using January units, I'll be using January units, February units, and March units. Just copy and paste the same and separate it by comma, January units, separate by comma, February units, and March units. And you see it is enclosed under curly brackets under parenthesis. Select this and press F5 key to process it. Now I see I have a promotion units for January, February, and March with a combination of item per package. This is how you can write uh, even more complex tuple. I have used an example over here for column. Similarly, you can use for the rows as well. And you can design exactly same view as given over here using your MDS query. This was a simple example rows and tuple. Now let's take another example of cross join and complex tuple. So I like to show you one more example of set before I move to a cross join. In this example we use uh, set only for rows. I can use set. I use for set for column. I can use set for rows as well. Right. So in addition to promotion, I like to display promotions are different promotions. I like to display payment type. So combination of promotion and different kind of payment type. You see payment type option has got couple of options like cash, payment and promotion with uh, cash payment and payment via ATM. Let's copy this and put it over here. I separate by parenthesis. Sammy, uh, comma and use ATM. So you see, see very clearly in my rows or excess one I have a combination of promotion and cash and promotion and ATM. It, this set is uh, enclosed under curly braces and then I have a tuple in parenthesis. So this set consists of two, two tuples. Select this and process and you see I have a combination of promotion and cash and promotion and ATM with respect to my time dimension January, February, March and units. In next example, I'm going to show you how to use cross join. Cross join like partition product, as name indicate. Cross join function combines set of by taking the cross product of two set. So I've got set one, cross join, set two. And sets cannot share a common dimension. That's one thing important. Let's see in our case. I'm going to design this uh, this cube. So I would be using a cross join of my year dimension with my January, February, March sales, right? So I use the term called cross join. We put under parenthesis. 
So my first set is going to be a combination of January sales, February sales and March sales. Right? And Cartesian product with Cartesian product with, with my year 2008 and 2009. You see 2008 and 2009. Right? So Cartesian product 2008-9 with the combination of January, February, March sales. I want exactly the same view as given over here. So use the term Cartesian product and set and you you separate by using comma and rows whatever I have continue use it let's rewrite this query so I use select I use a term called cross join cross join and cross join uses under parenthesis I use multiple set so my first set is January units and to shorten is I use January units and February units right so two tuple January units and February units and one it forms a one set this is to be cross joined with this is to be cross joined with I will be using over here new majors uh, new dimension member called store manager right I'll be using different store manager so I use a combination of store manager um, I was store manager Abhijit and I want this to appear in my access zero or columns and I copy the remaining part of my query from my first query so in my rows I'll continue to have promotion with the intersection of cash and promotion with the intersection of ATM you have to make sure that you are not using same dimension in rows and column that causes a trouble that's it select this and run it units okay I have uh, misspelled it it should be units select in process just ensure that you have a your parentheses are commonly properly balanced so I'll check here so what I see over here one opening parenthesis was missing I just put it over here and reprocess this query select this query and reprocess so what you see is a cross join of January units February units with uh, my store, say, store manager Abhijit right so you see Abhijit intersection with January units which is an alias over here item per package February item per package intersection with Abhijit, Abhijit. similarly you can the same structure as given over here it will be cost join of 2008-2009 with January sales February sales respectively so these are a couple of few example we try today we continue talking about more advanced example in a subsequent session. So today I'm going to stop over here and you can write your queries to me at support.bsvsolutions.com. Thanks for joining today's session and please continue to attend our subsequent classes as well.